Hi, this is Brian with SimpleDIYSolar.com. Let's talk about mounting solar cells. Most of the plans out on the internet, they'll, you'll take a piece of glass or something like that, and you'll build a box, and then you'll mount the solar cells on uh, like perforated board or something in between that. I guarantee that you will be disappointed with that configuration. First thing, biggest complaint I get from so many people uh, is they'll build their panel, and they'll stick it out in the sun and moisture will condense, okay? Moisture will condense all over it and eventually that's going to that's uh, gradually put mineral deposits on the inside of the glass and it's going to reduce the efficiencies of your cells and even corrode the connections in the back. If you've built a panel that way, I do have some ways to address uh, the moisture in those panels uh, on the video, but really the right way to do it is to directly adhere the cell to the material that you're going to do. This is a Lexan plastic. I got a uh, 36 by 36 piece for $12. It's actually uh, the same price as glass and it's 10 times stronger. You can't do that with glass so if uh, you know someone throws a football in the yard or something like that it won't break as easily. Is what I did is I used a special resin. Okay, is I poured the resin on the material and then I stuck the cell to it. Okay, uh, typically you would solder the cells. This is one of my test pieces. Uh, this is also done with a different glue, but it's very expensive. But this resin that you can get at most hardware stores was about $10. Uh, it allowed it to add about $10 to the cost of the whole panel. And really all you do is you pour the resin on the uh, plastic or the glass, and then you stick the cell to it uh, after you've got the strings all soldered together. This particular resin, uh, I tested it up to 250 degrees in the oven. Uh, it doesn't run, doesn't melt, but it still remains flexible, okay? And really, so who cares? And even after you've soldered all the connections in the back, you can pour more resin on top of that to totally seal it. This is how the commercial panels are essentially done. And then you don't have to worry about any moisture condensation, anything like that. You just have to keep the front of it clean like you do with any solar panel. So get the video, find out the type of resin that I used. It wasn't normal fiberglass resin. Normal fiberglass resin, if you don't, if you don't, uh, have some type of a substrate for that to adhere to, it'll crack. And on the video, I've got some pictures of that, of the, the plans that I did that way. Cracked, cracked the cells, destroyed the panel, wasted about $80. So get the video, find out the type of resin, and I'll show you the techniques to do, and you'll have some great working panels.